Hello, today I am going to show you the simulation of the voltage transfer characteristic curve of an N channel MOSFET. For this purpose, I have created this setup. I will be varying the input voltage that is the grid to source voltage, and I will be checking the voltage or record the voltage at the drain node that, the, that is the output voltage, and I will also try to vary the drain resistance to look for the change in the voltage transfer characteristic curve of the MOSFET. So let's simulate with this current parameter. So the RD value is this value right here. It is, you can see it is 10 ohms. Now if I want to simulate this with the 10 ohm, let's see the result, what we get. So right now with 10 ohms, we are getting this voltage transfer characteristic curve. Okay. And you can see the slope of the saturation reason. This is the saturation reason, and this is the uh, triad reason, and this is the cutoff reason at the top. So the slope of the saturation reason is not that steep. If you want to make the slope steep, what we can do is increase the amount of resistance. So let's increase the amount of resistance by 10 times, and let's watch what happens now I have run the simulation again and see by increasing the resistance by 10 times that is 100 ohms the slope of the saturation region has has increased a great deal right so now if I'm going to increase the resistance by 10 times again that is 1k you can easily guess the slope would be much more steeper and as you can see the slope is much more steeper now for this voltage transfer characteristic curve so the slope of the saturation region usually depends on the load or the train resistance of the circuit so this is the common source amplifier voltage transfer characteristic curve that is actually very much needed to find out the gain of the amplifier circuit Thank you for watching the video. 